All right, on to chapter two. A cell phone is ringing. Hello? This is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. This is going to be painful because uh, it's two women talking and I do terrible women's voices. So I'm only going to raise my voice for the younger of the two. Uh, sorry, I've been so busy. Uh, how have you been? Well, lonely. It, and it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always liked toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Ah, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out, sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. How big is the statue that she's able to put evidence papers inside? Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm. Well, there's a possible. Who's talk? It's like she's answering her own question. Uh, I think that's an error. I think that's supposed to be uh, Mia talking, so that's how I'll do it. Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Uh, can you come by the office tonight, say 9 o'clock, to pick it up? I'll be in a pretrial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Now, in the Japanese version, uh, she has a thing for ramen noodles. Uh, they changed it for the American version, and unfortunately, at some point, they switched it back, so there will be a continuity error in a later game, but you can forget about that for now. Okay, okay, we'll hit the usual joint. All right, it's a deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Conversation recorded, September 5, 9.27 a.m. September 5th, 8.57 p.m., Fay and Company Law Offices. Now, Miss Fay, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Fay, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. I'm doing a very bad Ted Knight. Sorry. How could you know? Oh, you are not cogniferous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. And business is good. I... I should have been more careful. Oh, my dear Miss Fay, I'm so very sorry. But I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Fay. <laughs> yeah, that that was kind of a shock the first time I played this game. Uh, this character that you meet in the first chapter immediately dies in the second. Red, white, blue is what she said as she slumped over. Uh, September 5th, 9.08 p.m., Fay and Company Law Offices. Uh-oh, I'm late. Huh, that's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. McDonald's. Wait, what's that smell? That's not burgers I smell. It's blood. Mia! Maybe she's in her office. To the office. That smell. 
blood. Someone crying. Sis. Someone's there. Chief? Chief? Chief! Who the hell are you? I mean, who are you? And she fainted. The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the sofa in the office. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Chief. Alright, let's start having a look around. It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon. Again. Yeah, isn't it ironic? Don't you think? Um, anyway. Some shards of glass are scattered on the floor. They seem to be the remains of a glass light stand. Okay. Oh, wait, I can... I think I can just... Oh, yeah, I can. There's a large building right across... Right across from the office. The Gatewater Hotel. A nice, luxurious place. Yeah, I can just move the cursor around with the, uh, with the stylus. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there's any clues here, she was struck in the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. The thinker is added to the court record. Hmm. There's some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Glass shards added to the court record. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm. A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? A word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya, did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. Receipt added to the court record. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police. Find out what that girl was doing here. Well, obviously it's the sister. Okay, how do I... Uh, no. No. There we go. Already forgetting the button. Uh... Right, I'd better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police! Please come quick! What? Well, what was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? Yeah, ooh. She's staring right at me. I'm trying to maintain eye cap contact. Uh, she's holding a phone in her hand. Okay, let's have a look around. Some of these are kind of funny. Surprisingly, the chief was never good with, with machines. About all she used this PC for was email. She picked up this ancient model at some garage sale for practically nothing. They're trying to explain away the fact that this game was actually made in the early 2000s, back when uh, CRTs for computer monitors were the norm, instead of the flat screens we have now. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else can we look for? Ah, the Fay & Company ledger book. Everything is written in the Chief's ultra-neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Okay, uh... All the Chief's important documents are packed in here. This is where she filed her case records and recent rulings. Okay. Uh, 
Um, I don't see anything else. That's, uh, the Chief's Chair. A simple, functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in, too. Okay. Um, it's painful to look, but I have to, for Mia's sake. Looks like she was hit in the head with a blunt weapon. She probably died instantly. Not quite instantly. She had uh, one final word. Wait, what's... A perfectly normal office desk. The chief had a very particular policy about office decor. Spend big on stuff that the clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. Uh, oh. The phone receiver is missing a few screws. I'd better not use it. Uh, so what am I supposed to look at here? I don't know. Do I have to look at the body again? No. I've already looked at the evidence, and I have it. Maybe I should look at the evidence. I, I've already forgotten, like, all the steps I have to take to get the story to progress. Okay, I'll look at the evidence, I guess. Um, can't examine anything yet. That comes later. Yeah, I don't know. Even through this. Do I have to look out the window again? Oh, the kitty cat's up. I don't know if you heard that. A large building right across from the office. Gate Water Hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I should try moving out into the office. The outer office. Ah, here we go. That girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on the sofa. Uh-oh, I hope she didn't run run on me. We got a runner. Oh, no, here she is. Yipes! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who the hell are you? Uh, it's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya. Maya Faye? Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name? Maybe I should show her the receipt. I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Um, maybe I should talk to her first. That might be upsetting. She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I but I have to know. Um, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? I came in. The room was dark. Sis. Sis. So she was already dead. So you're the chief's sister. I'm her younger sister. And you were here visiting? That seems awfully suspicious. I mean, uh, uh, this late at night? Remember we were going out for burgers, Phoenix? Uh, yes, yeah, she said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes, stupid. It was a clock. You, you, don't... Did you not talk to, uh... Maya earlier? Mia? Oh, I'm gonna screw up their names a lot, don't worry. It was the Thinker. Okay. Did I present the Thinker? Um, about the Thinker. The, the Thinker? That was... Oh, sis. Hmm. Probably shouldn't have asked her about the murder weapon. <laughs> Um, well, this is going to be even worse. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. <laughs> she wrote it on the back of this receipt 
and it's your name. Now, 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 why would she do that? That's my name? Why? Why would she write my name? Please just calm down. You're not under suspicion. I'm just going to dial 911 on the phone here. Why would sis write my name? Uh-oh, now I've done it. Uh-oh. Cheese it, it's the cops. The fuzz, the P.I. Don't you dare! I wouldn't think of it! Anyway, the police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze, police! Oh yeah, this guy. Um, who should he- Oh, I know. Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Doing a bad Columbo. A really, really bad Columbo. Gumshoe, what an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. It must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Maya, wait. She wouldn't have... Nah. Whoa! Excuse me! Eek. The word Maya here mean anything to you? Um, that... That's my name. What? The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. The k killer? I'm not... Closed. Case closed. You're coming down to the pre precinct, ma'am. What? I can't do Columbo. Mia's younger sister, Maya was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6th, uh, 9.07 a.m. Detention Center Visitor's Room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh, it's you, the lawyer, the one who ratted me out. Good morning. Good morning! She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh... <laughs> Maybe if I joke a bit, she'll cheer up. <laughs> no way, Jose. Just kidding. <laughs> Whoops. That didn't go so well. Heh. <laughs> huh? M Maya? Was that a chuckle? What? No, no! It wasn't very believable, was it? Not, not really. I'm sorry. I just thought, since you made a joke... Please, don't mind me. You're doing just fine. Who's trying to cheer up who here? I knew it. No one will believe me. W what? Even you. When you found me in the, in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no I, I never thought... It's okay, I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? What have you heard about me? I, I, I Rumors, they're just rumors. I was talking about my sister on the phone the other day. Or talking to my sister, rather. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? That was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on... I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ha, huh, so he crashed and burned? He's a genius! One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Ha, huh, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get in trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. 
That is, unless you want to be found guilty. <laughs> that's what she's. That's what she said. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... I know. Let's have a little chit-chat. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you, uh, you could say. Uh, acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing, nothing, nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. A uh, spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. It's one of the things I don't like about this game is that uh, your sidekick is a spirit medium, and I, I find that these people just waste the court's time. They, they, I, I hate when I hear about uh, police officers consulting psychics and. Just big waste of time. Day of the crime. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, that clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. Okay. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh! I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Maya's memo added to the court record. Okay, let's talk about spirit mediums. So you're an acolyte. Or I mean, uh, medium in training. That's right. The Fay family, especially... The women have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fey family? So Mia was into this stuff too? <laughs> she was into that crap? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I, I had no idea. Hmm. Wait. What? So you're a real honest-to-goodness spirit medium? With ESP and all that? Yes, because that's totally real. Yes, in training. But can't you contact Mia's spirit then? We can we can just ask her who killed her. I, I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm. I thought that would be too easy. Um. Uh, what's uh, is something the matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. <laughs> sure. I'm sorry. I think this is the kind of thing you should really do yourself. You're right. Something wrong? Actually, I, I asked the police to contact him, and they tried calling a few times. Nobody could get a hold of him. They couldn't find him? I have no one left to ask. Say, what about your parents? Uh, okay, don't worry. I'll go ask him for you. You will? Thank you so much. I'm just worried what will happen if I can't find him. They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. 
When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 o'clock this afternoon? Geez, that's fast. And visiting hours are almost up. I'd better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Okay, on the move. Always on the move. Gross perk. Anyway, before we... Uh... Let's uh, look at the court record. I was, I was my sister's recorded on my cell phone. Okay. Okay. Let's get going. September 6th. Grossberg Law Offices. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. Must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Let's have a look around first. Expensive looking mahogany uh, bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Hmm. Funny, they don't look like they've ever been read. Solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil painting is so thick, it practically, it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at, sneeze at either, for that matter. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. A table for clients. Hmm. An elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that lighter's made of uh, solid gold. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. Can I look at the lighter? Table for clients, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Is there anything else? Kind of weird that uh, I came all this way and... Uh, no one to talk to. The first game is weird because um, it it doesn't have the uh, the tight storytelling that the later that the the Great Ace Attorney game does anyway. Back to the detention center, I guess. Hey, what is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry, I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm, I better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. Okay. Um, hmm, yeah, see. This game is... It's not really obvious, like, what you have to do to progress the story. Don't know. Did I present something? I wanted to ask you about your cell phone. That detective took it when he when they brought me in. So Gumshoe took it. I'll have to try to get it back next time I see him. Oh, 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 I remember now. I have to go back to the law offices. That's another thing, is that you can't just go straight from one location to another. You have to go to, like, intermediate locations. So I had I had to return to the de detention center so that the path to the law office would open again. Really, really bizarre. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry. Oh, wait, that's still him talking. Um, sorry, I, I don't know. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. 
Um, right. You were... <laughs> um, suede shoes, wasn't it? That's me. Don't step on my blue suede shoes. Wait, that's a song, pal. My name's Detective Dick Gumshoe. Whoa, wait. That's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Y yes sir. Be right there, sir. Uh, ahem. You're her lawyer, pal, right? You got business here, you'd better do it quick. Whew, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Okay. Well, let's, let's have a chit-chat. About Miss Faye, did you do an autopsy? It's the next morning. Hmm? You want to know the results, eh? Now, don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss. But that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right. You can see the report. But that's all. Autopsy report added to the court record. Uh, time of death is uh, 9... 5 at 9 p.m. Cause a single blunt force trauma. Death was instantaneous. Okay. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't gonna win. Well, why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. It's a little redundant. Uh, Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means. You being a lawyer and all. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Of course I do. That'll be uh, pertinent later. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't fear. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became a prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with almost an abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Okay, now, I got something to show you, dick. I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that. I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure, I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Tell him straight. Tell him not so straight. Uh, let's, yeah, let's try some uh, shenanigans. Okay, I can't be straight with this guy. What should I tell him? Something the matter. Oh, no, um... That, that carrying strap on the cell phone. This, hmm, it says the Steel Samurai, warrior of Neo-Old Tokyo. The Steel Samurai, that action hero on TV. Yeah, you see the strap is a collector's item. She was worried it might get lost if it went down to the precinct. That's what she said? Um, yes? Okay, pal. I wrote down all the numbers she called anyway. Here you go. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Maya's cell phone received from Detective Gumshoe. Add it to the court record. The court record to hear the recorded conversation. I guess I'll, I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes. Thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you'd better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. Oh, yeah. That that girl with her two, um... Uh, oh, never mind. Uh, come to think of it, I had completely forgotten all about her. 
Uh, the witness. Yeah, Miss April May. Sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name, Miss May, huh? So, you've sent her home already then? <laughs> You're trying your lawyerly tricks on me now. She's, uh, she's not to go outside her room until the trial. So, she's still in the hotel room across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss Faye. Or Miss May. One of the two. Yeah, over to the Gatewater Hotel. September 6th, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to, the, to that lawyer, pal. Tee <laughs> Memo to self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like a, like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. Okay, well, I see something. There's a screwdriver stuck in this stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Uh, hey, what do you what are you what are you doing? No touching. Oh, bad boy. Y you really shouldn't pry around other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? Thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside that drawer. Okay, let's have a talk. What you witnessed. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observe? Incident? You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Um, uh, better not encourage her. You know that thing that occurred, I mean, happened the other day? The bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty please? Let me see. Um, well, dream on. You want to know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. No, boy. Um, could you just... Who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? But no, hey, I, I'm just doing my job here. I think you're trying to seduce me, Mr. Lawyer. Hee <laughs> hee. You know you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've been, I've blushed this month, this much. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, can you just tell me what it is you do? Tell me what it is you do here. Well, no. Tee -hee. And you had you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh boy. I see there's no two I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying with you? Oh what an amazing power of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh no, not me. I'm uh just a lawyer. Say Mr. Big Detective. Why don't you go look for clues in the garbage, hmm? Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers, hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. Won't let me examine anything, right? Late summer sunlight streams through the window. There's the Fay and Company Law Office's building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. Simple bed. I wonder what would happen if I ran a black light over it. It's been recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. A 
bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. She's letting me look at the rest of the room. Uh, still seen painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever, one of those is hanging on the wall. The flowers are fake, as expected. I know sunflowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. Maybe later. Okay, so... Uh, I don't think there's anything I need to show her. I don't think she's gonna... Excuse me. But I'm a witness, police witness, you understand? How could I possibly give you any information in good conscience, hmm? Me, the witness. Just like in the movies. She's not going to respond to any of that, so maybe I should move on to, uh... Let's go see if Grossberg is in. Ah, here we go. Hmm, seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. <clears throat> well, if that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard... Ah! So you're the one they said has been looking for me. Uh, y yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. <sighs> that badge on your collar. Uh, so you're a lawyer, are you? Y yes, well, yes. And, and what do you want? I'm not particularly, not pr particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm, something the matter. You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, sir. Actually, it's about Maya, Maya Fay. Ah, uh, yes, uh, Maya Fay. Go on. Hmm, why this strange reaction? A uh, cha cha. I'm really quite busy here, you son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's it's quite impossible. Wait, wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Uh, 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 anyway, uh, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Okay, let's... Just make sure there's nothing new. Okay, let's talk. How can you just refuse like that? Please tell me, why won't you take the case? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you see, it's just, I'm, I'm busy, you see. But the client is M Mia Fey's sister. <laughs> uh... Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course. I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry. G goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. <laughs> think not. Huh? Did you say something? I, I think not, I said. What, what do you mean? I, I'm terribly sorry, terribly, terribly sorry, but I'm, I'm afraid there's no lawyer worth their salt uh, who will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Uh, why? I, I, I can't, I can't say. I, I, I beg your pardon, I, but I, could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? How did you know Mia Fey? She uh, worked here a, a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in, her, in the blink of an eye. 
She left one day quite suddenly. Uh, she had a mission, you see. A, a mission? You, you could see it in her eyes. Uh, she followed it with her, with a burning passion. Never looked back that one. Uh, about that painting, that's quite a painting you've got there. Uh, you, you know that stuff. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The, the, the color, the, the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. Nope, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. Uh, it's not for, for sale. I, I, I'm not buying. Jeez. Okay, well... Okay, well, he's not gonna really respond to any of this. Let's examine the room one last time. I thought there was something... If I remember right, there was something with that gold lighter. You mentioned it. I might be jumping the gun on something that happens later. Well, I guess I should get a move on. Back to the detention center. No, wait. Oh, she's still out. September 6th, uh, 3.42 p.m. Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Hiya! Oh, you're back! Did you find the lawyer? Um, well... What do I tell her? Well, you see... Let's just be honest. I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He, he didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. <laughs> what really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? Um... I see. I've been abandoned then. Now, hold on. Oh, wait, I have your, uh... I have your cell phone. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say... Can I listen to my sister's voice? Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. Well, that was kind of a melancholy thank you. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. The morning I got a call from my sister, she wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Yeah, yeah, you already told me that. That's the thinker clock that Larry made. Practically qualifies as serial. He practically, practically qualifies as serial as a serial murderer by now. So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around nine. The lights were off, and I could smell blood. But then I found her, my sister. Thank, thanks, Maya. It's all I needed to hear for now. What about your family? I only have my sister. My father died when I was very young, and I don't know where my mother is. You don't know? So she could still be alive? The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power. A lot of? They say a lot of spiritual powers run in our blood. If they have midi chlorians. <laughs> About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man, and he. he. he ruined our mother's life. Ruined? How did she not see that coming? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. So you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent, or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her all by herself up on that mountain. Emptiness, eagles, and snow. Uh, so, who was this man who um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. 
It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? What a waste of fucking time. The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved. We thought. Turns out my mom's a fraud. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. The police's consultation with a medium had, a, had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the paper all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the medium and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White? Hmm. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Okay, screw you, Maya. I'm going home. There's nothing left here for me to do. She'll be better off with a state-appointed lawyer. I think I'd better go home now. Goodbye. Game over. It was a few days later when I found out how the story ended. The result of the trial was in the newspaper. Guilty. I'll probably never meet her again. Did I make the right choice? Will I ever know? Mia, if you can hear me, please tell me. Not. I can't let that happen. <laughs> I'm not leaving her until she takes me as her lawyer. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well, can't abandon you. Someone else is the culprit. I like the first option. No one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know, I've been there a long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on, on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. <laughs> well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. Ooh, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes. And I and I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So what's next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has there has to be something in there. Okay, it's telling me where to go now, so Back to the hotel. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are... Oh, I, I beg your pardon, sir. I'm the bellboy of this establishment, at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? I believe our guest, Miss May, is currently using the uh, facilities. Ah, so the queen is seated upon the throne, is she? If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait. No, hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait. Now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Ah, uh, I almost forgot! Ugh! You, you came back quick! Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, right. Sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp. Where have I heard that name before? 
White. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined Mia and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? Well, we'll... we'll figure that out later. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half-open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A, a wiretap. Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Wiretap added to the court record. There's a... There is definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this. I know it. All right. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll go to this woman... <laughs> to this woman's bottom. Wait, or I mean, uh... You, you know what I mean. Oh, bellboy. Still there? Uh, uh-oh. Time to scram. I look forward to... Uh... I look forward to tangoing with you to... Oh, tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. To be continued. These chapters are so much shorter than the Great Ace Attorney. Alright, yes, save progress. I'm gonna take a little break, I'll be right back.